back. Today's video is a makeup tutorial. I haven't filmed a makeup tutorial in forever. It has seriously been so long. I used the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill Vault Collection. This one definitely spoke to me the most out of all the palettes that she came out with. I just love these tones in here. And of course, if you want to see a tutorial with the rest of the Vault Collection, I can totally do that as well. So if you guys want to know my thoughts on this palette and see how I got this makeup look, then just keep on watching. So my eyelids are already primed. I used the MAC Soft Ogre Paint Pot and then I set that down with a translucent powder just so that blends is easier and it's not sticky. The first shade I'm picking up is this one right here called Access and I'm using that on a Morphe M505 brush and I'm going to be putting that all over my crease and then buffing that upwards. Picking up a little bit more to start building that up and this shade blends so, so nicely. I think I'm going to stop there. I could bring it up a little bit higher actually. I'm going to bring it up a little bit more up in this area. Then I'm taking the shade Top Secret on a Morphe M518 brush and I'm really packing that on here. I'm gonna start putting this in my crease just a little bit lower than that first shade we used. And since this is a halo eye, I am bringing this all the way into the inner corner. Once I have the majority of it placed where I want it, I'm gonna start buffing the shade upwards. So see how I kept it really nice and tight in that crease, I'm gonna start just slowly blending that upwards into that yellow shade. You can see with the shade too, there is a line right there, a pretty harsh line that will go away once I start to add more product and then blend more on top of it. But just so you guys are aware, there is a little bit of harshness right there. So I just picked up a little bit more on my brush. I'm gonna start trying to buff that out. Not that it really matters for this particular eye look that we're doing just because I am gonna be cutting the crease. But if I was doing something without a cut crease, I would wanna spend a little bit more time blending that out. Just so you guys are aware of that. Now I'm picking up a little bit more. I'm gonna start putting this in the outer and the inner corner more. So just packing this on with that same brush. So I'm really just focusing this on the outer half. And then once I get it as dark as I want it, I'm gonna pick up a little bit more and then go to the inner corner. And then I'll go back in with my yellow or orange, the shade Access, run that right over the top. And just so you guys can see my palette, I'm just gonna show you the kickback. So I used these two shades right here and there's not much kickback at all. There's a little bit around, oh, around the pan over here, but not much at all. So they do seem to be a little bit harder pressed. Okay, now to start cutting the crease, I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. You can use any concealer for this, but I do recommend using a concealer that's full coverage just so that you can cover up everything that you need to. So I just put a little bit on the back of my hand then I'm taking this little teeny tiny brush. This is from Morphe, but it doesn't have a name on it. So I got it in a set. I see this all the time. I just haven't had time to look through and find a new one. But anyway, so I'm gonna start right about here so a little bit over that crease in my lid because when I open my eyes, I still want to be able to see a little bit of that cut crease. So I'm just going to keep my eyes open and mark right about there, right where I want it to be so that you can still see it with my eyes open. I'm going to do a, kind of like a half moon. Sorry, I have to stop talking when I'm doing this because I'm moving. Yeah. <laughs> And then instead of going straight down like I normally would, I'm just gonna bring it to kind of a triangle shape, whoops. And then we'll fan this out and start blending that concealer into the shadows a little bit so it's not such a harsh line. And then while that concealer is so wet, I'm taking the shade VIP, which is this really bright metallic white shade. I'm packing that on my MAC 242 brush and I'm picking up quite a bit of this because what I noticed the first time I used it on this eye, it wasn't as, blinding and metallic as I wanted it to be. When I only went in with it just a little bit, it did not show up like this. So you really wanna just pack on a bunch of that. And then once we have that packed on there and set the concealer down, and drag this out a little bit towards the corners. Then I'm gonna pack on some of the Guilt Trip using that same exact brush since we are blending these all together. I'm gonna put that a little bit lower than that. And this one is the shadow that I had a little bit of an issue with on the other eye. It just doesn't seem to be quite as bright as the other shades, I guess. 
below that, I'm gonna take the shade Coin. And still using that same brush since we are mixing all these together. And I'm just gonna show you guys here. These metallics are pressed. It seems to me a little bit different than the ones in Jaclyn's original palette. Cause I'm packing on a ton and you can see like it's not going on my brush. So I'm just like really trying to rough this shade up to get as much product as I possibly can. So I'm literally like digging in here. So what I'm actually gonna do is take my nail and just scratch off a little bit, just so that it's not so hard pressed. And then I'm gonna go back in, there we go. And then I'm gonna put this on the lower half of my eyeball. So the shade is beautiful once you actually get the amount you need on your brush. Just be aware that you might need to do a little bit of scratching or digging to get that top layer off. And I am getting fallout, see on my face right here. I'm gonna go back in and pick up some more of this. Okay, that should be good. And then just to decrease fallout, I'm gonna spray it with some Fix Plus. And then I'm gonna pack this on a little bit more because I want it to be more of a point down there. I'm gonna take more of the shade Top Secret and then blend that over those lines. I'm sorry that I keep like pausing in my sentences, but it's really, really hard for me to talk while I'm doing eyeshadow, so I apologize for that. But as you guys can see, I'm just blending over the edges of that. I'm gonna take a little bit more of VIP and drag that down. So I'm gonna take the shade Prowl on a Morphe M432 brush and pack that right along my lash line. And for my lower lash line, I'm taking that same blending brush and then just dragging this all along my lower lash line. And then taking some of the excess shade, running that along the bottom of that, and then connecting the outer corner out here. And then I'm taking the shade Coin on this little tiny brush, and I'm gonna put that right in the center. This is the Sephora Collection Waterproof Liner in the shade 03. I'm gonna put that right over the eyeshadow that I put right here, only in the center. And then I'll take my black eyeliner, this is the Marc Jacobs Highliner, and then I'll put that on the rest of my waterline. I'm gonna stamp Prowl right over that black liner. I'm gonna use VIP in my inner corner, and I'm using a Morphe E36 brush. This shade is a really, really pretty inner corner highlight. It's so blinding in there. Also gonna put a little bit of that shade up in my brow bone. Now just my false lashes has something to sit on. I know I already put the brown. I am gonna go a little bit lower and keep the eyeliner pretty tight against my waterline just so you can still see a little bit of that brown so it looks kind of smoky. I'm taking my Inglot Gel Eyeliner and a Sigma E06 brush and I'm just gonna run this right along the very base of my lash line just because I feel like it's kind of hard to put false lashes on when you don't have eyeliner on because you don't have like a guide of where to put it. Oh no, I just tried pushing my hair back. I had eyeliner underneath my nail. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna go ahead and put some lashes on and I'm using Euphoria by Jazzy Lashes in style Devotion and I will be right back. Okay, so that's it for the eyes and I obviously already have my base on. I also did my bronzer and contour just cause that's kind of boring to watch on camera. So I'm just gonna finish up the fun stuff quick. So first thing I'm gonna do is take this Lancome Absolute powder. This is in the shade Absolute Pearl. So what I've been liking to do is just take a little bit in the cap of this and I'll use a big fluffy brush like this, pick it up and then tap off the extra and then I'll run this over my cheeks, pick up a little bit more, go over my nose, my whole forehead. And I just like this because it gives me a really pretty glow because it does have a little bit of that shimmer in it. So it, I don't know, it just looks so, so pretty on the skin. So I basically just pounce this around everywhere. And I've just been liking this for the summer because in the summer I obviously like to be glowy. So I just put that on everywhere. You can see how pretty of a glow it gives my face. It looks like I have highlighter on even though I don't and I just love it. Next thing I'm gonna do is go with my blush. I'm using the Too Faced Baby or Baby Love Blush. I cannot get the names of anything right today. I'm using a Morphe E4 brush and I'm just gonna put this on the apples of my cheeks. 
And blush looks especially pretty over this Lancome powder too because it just has that really pretty sheen that comes through it. Instead of using a blush that has a little bit of a shimmer to it, you kind of get that glow from within underneath the blush when you use this. I'm gonna take some cream highlight. This is the Hourglass Vanish Stick Highlighter. Use a little bit on my finger. I usually use my finger if I already set my face down with powder. Just because if you go in straight with a stick, it might pick up the foundation and powder. So if I do already have my face powdered, I'll just go in with my finger and pounce over my cheeks. This stuff is really good too if you have oily skin because it does dry down to a little bit more of a powdery finish. So it doesn't stay like a cream finish and kind of tacky, which is really nice because I do have a very oily skin. By the way, this one is in the shade Champagne Flash. I believe it's the lightest one they have. Now, simply because I just like to have a super blinding highlight, I'm using this Ofra Cosmetics highlighter. This one's in the shade Star Island. I have been loving this highlighter. I always love Ofra highlighters, but sometimes most of the shades actually are just a little bit too dark on my skin so they give me a cast on my cheek so I have to be pretty tan to wear them but this one I've been able to wear it when I'm super fair or super tan so I have been loving this and this is an Anastasia A23 brush by the way so I'm just gonna put that right over top of the cream that I just put down I'm gonna take a little bit more bronzer this is the Marc Jacobs Tantastic Coconut Bronzer and I'm gonna warm up my cheeks a little bit more with this I'm also gonna put the highlighter on my cupid's bow a little bit on the center of my nose. To line my lips, I'm using Malibu by Kylie Cosmetics. And then I'm using Carmelo by Stila. I've been wearing this lipstick non-stop lately. You guys are probably getting sick of it, but I just love it so much. Okay, so that completes this makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I haven't done a makeup tutorial in forever, so it was super weird filming this. But my thoughts on this palette so far, this is the first palette that I've done a tutorial with. I've only tried this one and the Dark Magic palette. But anyways, my thoughts on this one, I used six shades out of here, I believe. Yeah, six shades in here, and the matte shade that I use, I really like. I love this access shade. It blends so, so easily, and it's such a pretty yellow-orange shade. The shade VIP, I think it's really pretty in the inner corner. I feel like I kind of had to pack a little bit more of it on than I did, at least in the last Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I feel like those shimmer shades were just a little bit more blinding and metallic. These ones, however, I did have to pick up a little bit more to get that same effect. So if you guys do have these palettes and you notice that same thing, I would definitely recommend either using a paper towel and rubbing off the top of it or taking your nail and scratching a little bit off to soften it up a little bit to get more pigment out of it. But other than that, I think the matte shades are great. I did have a little bit of patchiness with this green shade right at the beginning when it was going in my crease. It was just kind of clinging to the crease in my eyelid, but that buffed away. So that's my final thoughts on this palette. If you guys want me to do some more looks with the rest of the vault collection, I can totally do that. So just let me know down in the comments if you would like to see that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.